Hello dear students, welcome to Devi Kaus Commerce and Management Academy. Geometric mean, we will see today discrete series. And uh, you know that in our playlist, in our channel playlist, there are many subjects already covered. Please check out the playlist, whatever is useful, use it and do not forget to forward these videos. Now coming to the topic, individual series we have seen geometric mean. If you understood that, come to this discrete series, today's class. It will be very easy, only few minutes you just concentrate, I will make you to understand, damn easy. Now what was the formula for individual series geometric mean? Geometric mean is equal to log x by anti log of log x by n, that was the formula. Same formula, uh, anti log of log x by n, na. now here we are making anti log of sigma of f into log x. Only we are adding here f, frequency into log x. There in individual series frequency was not given. Simply we have taken anti log of sigma log x by n. Now here anti log of sigma f into log x by n, that is all, that is the only difference. Now shall we enter into the problem? Now this is the problem given to us, calculate geometric mean. x values are given, frequency is given. Individual series means all uh, individual series means only x. Discrete series means x and frequency. Right? So, how do we calculate? As per the formula, f into log x we want. First, let us find out log x. Log x, x log we will take. Then after that, frequency into log x. So, two columns. First one is log x. How do we find out log x? First uh, to this x we are finding out log. Each and every value is 2 number we are showing. 2 means 2 minus 1 comes to 1. But first we will give the weightage. Here all the values are 2 only. 2 numbers. 2, mi two means 2 is the n. n minus 1 is 1. So like we are giving weightage to the each and every number 1, 1, 1. Now we will take the log for this x. Shall I take the log tables? logarithm tables, first one is 10, 10, 0, 10, 0 means all zeros only, so all zeros, 4 zeros, then after that 15, 15, 0 is 1761, yes, 1761, 1761, next 18, 18, 0, 2, double, 5, 3, 2 double 5 3. Next 20 0. 20 0 is 3 0 1 0. 25 1. 3 9 7 9. Next what do we need? Frequency into log x. Frequency into log x. No need of tables. Now right now we want calculator. Uh, frequency into log, this to multiply and write it here. 2 into 1 comes to 2 only, 2 ones are 2, all zeros. Okay. So, I will put it in the memory, 2 m plus. Next one, 3 into 1.1761, 1 it is 3.5283. Next, 5 into 1.2553 comes 6.2765. Next one, 6 into 1.3010, 7.806. 6 means here also we can put 0. Next, last number, 4 into 1.3979 comes to 5.5983. 5, 5, if we total up, if, if I press MR, memory recollect, so it comes to 25.20, 25.2024. 20, so this I got it. Now apply in the formula. So anti log of 
sigma uh, f into log x is this one. If you want, you can write one step also. Uh, sigma f into log x is equal to 25.2024 and n, n is total of this now. So, this is 10, 20, 22. No, no, this is 10, 10, 20. So, n is 20. Okay. So, we are putting in the formula uh, f into log x is 25.2024. 2024 divided by n means 20. So, we will calculate 25.2024 divided by 20 comes to 1.26 anti log of 1.2601. So, this is we got. Now, we will see the anti log 260. Okay? Same like previous individual series, 26, 0. I will put extra things over there. 20, anti log, okay, anti log, 26, 0. 26, 0 means 1, 8, 2, 0. I will write here, 1, 8, 2, 0 I am getting. And the mean difference of 1, 26, 1. 26, 1. 1 is 0 only. So, there is no value, it means 1820 is the final. So, 1820. Now, where to put the point? For that, this is useful. One point means from the left after two numbers, we will put the point. This is 18.20. This is the answer. You understood, right? This is useful to put the point. One means from the left. So, left after two numbers put the point. So, the answer is 18.20. Clear? Discrete series. If you understood, try to work out the same problem without seeing the board. If your answer is correct, try the next problem. So, this is your homework problem. X is given, frequency is given. Same like this, go for log x. Then after that frequency into log x, apply it in the formula. Ultimately, your answer must be 25.63. 25.63. Let me know how many of you are getting the answer. Write it in the comment box. If you understand, if you practice it, if you get the answer, please let me know your feedback. Waiting for your feedback and also please check out our channel and do not forget to share this video. So, in the next class, we will see geometric mean continuous series. Practice well. Good luck.